Okay, we're trying this again, people. I really appreciate your patience. You have no idea. So I'm going over here to find you. I'm going to wait for your comments or your text messages. And, uh, and then we'll get going. Hopefully when I share my screen again, we're not going to have that problem. I think I figured out what, what the issue was. Okay, just waiting on some comments. Okay, it sounds okay. Thanks, Mike. Um, okay, now I'm going to share my screen. And, uh, well, first let me share this to the group. Okay, uh, so now what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to screen share and then I'm going to have to wait a minute to get confirmation via text message. Bruce, if you're still, uh, I'm going to tag you in this um, since he's got my phone number handy right now. <laughs> Mike, I'm so sorry for that experience. <laughs> Indeed, I am really, really sorry. Okay. Um, so Bruce has been texting me. So Bruce, when I go over to screen share, um, let me know. Okay, so let's do that now. And here we go. Testing, testing, testing. Testing, testing, testing. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm back. Whoops. Let me reload. How is the sound? Sounds good. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Uh, what I need to do now, because I closed out one of the, the uh, first windows that we're going to be auditing, I need to go to it. And I got good stuff for you today, so thanks for being really so patient. All right. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Okay, so we're looking at Tracy's um, Facebook page, and Tracy is a doTERRA rep. doTERRA is essential oils, and I made some notes, which is good because I just got so rattled over that um, situation that... I kind of forgot everything that I was going to point on. Um, okay, so Tracy, you recently changed your profile photo. You used to have another picture of a uh, of a um, oil bottle. We'd much rather see your face, so good job on that. Um, your your banner, I mean, while pretty, uh, and it does tell me that you help moms learn how to use essential oils. Um, it it does look very commercial and sort of impersonal. I would rather see pictures of you as a mom with your kids or many moms or maybe even testimonials, but uh, something a little more meaningful and maybe 
um, information about how I can get a freebie with you. So um, when I click on that banner, uh, absolutely nothing comes up. So you're, you're wasting this opportunity. So what you need to do is, or what I recommend doing is saying something like, click here to get access to my fill in the blank great freebie. Um, and you can either create a button in Canva or not because the whole banner is clickable and then it gives you an opportunity to write a whole bunch of information in the information box. So when they click it, a box, this box on the right pops up and there's the opportunity to write many, many, many paragraphs, put in links, all sorts of good stuff. So you wanna do that. The next thing I wanna point out is that um, you're, you need to change your tabs. So timeline and about are defaults by Facebook. So you can't do anything about that. Um, let's see how your about section looks. A place where moms can discover the secret to healthy, happy kids through essential oils, changing our homes for the better one drop at a time. That sounds like marketing speak and it doesn't sound like human a human. Um, do you know what I mean? Changing our homes for the better one drop at a time. Um, I would rather see it uh, a personal testimonial you know, um, this, as a busy, as a mom whose life has been changed by essential oils, by not only showing me the, the richness and serenity it can bring to my life um, and took me from totally stressed out to calm, it's also given me a career that has allowed me extra income to concentrate on the things that I love. And you know what I mean? Like all that stuff. Wait, wait a minute. Wait, in your long description, you do say that. When I first heard about essential oils, I had no idea what they were or how to use them. Fast forward four years, now I don't go a day without using them because doTERRA's 100% therapeutic grade essential oils have made such a difference in my life. I have a passion to show others how to use these wonderful natural compounds. That's much better, but I would, um, I would even get more personal. How did it change your life? Um, I, the whole point is here, this is... Facebook, remember, is like a casual place where we want to interact with each other. We want to get to know each other, and um, and we can let our hair down just a little bit so we don't have to sound so, like, uh, buttoned up. Now, let me click on your website, and this is Aroma Class 101. And I would say the same thing, like, I can get the secrets to becoming an essential oil expert with weekly aroma tips. Um, so is that the 101 class that you were talking about, Aroma 101 class? So it's not clear to me, but I really think in addition to that, maybe you have a couple more freebies, um, that maybe are really geared directly to the mom, you know, a mom rather. Um, okay, let's go back over here. So we were talking about your tabs. Um, so I would just fill out your about section a little more. And then events is a good idea. I noticed that you have this connected and you actually have events scheduled. Um, your most re recent one was May 21st. So not that long ago, um, I guess you need to add a few more events. And if this is working for you, then this is fine. Um, so uh, if I was gonna, you know, if this was much older than May 21st, I would say maybe you could feature a different tab here. Photos, um, I would not choose photos. What I would choose is videos. And since you can only have these four, these four buttons, I think video uh, would really be the strategy for you. And when I say video, really just Facebook Live um, would be sufficient because what that gives you the opportunity is to really show what you know. And there's only like a million things you can do with essential oils. Um, that you could demonstrate. And if you don't like being in front of the camera, that's all right. You can um, you could just show us daily tips of different things that we can do um, and and make you know the 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 whole point of the video that you're solving a problem of some sort. You know, I wouldn't start with a product like now I am featuring doTERRA's beautiful lemon oil. That will be just 
barely mentioned actually um, because if you if you give value like this and you make this in entertaining and engaging then people are going to click through to find out how they can get your oils um, you need to have a pin, something pinned up here to the top and what I recommend that you pin is an explainer video that we made in camp um, so I can't remember if you if you've done one or not, but I would definitely do that. That also gives you a chance to tell your personal story, how it's helped you, you know, maybe health wise, but it's also helped you with your lifestyle because, you know, getting involved with this wonderful company has, you know, afforded you the opportunity to do X, Y and Z with your family, be more present. You know, I don't know. Um, and. And so you're really you. So you, you need to really focus on content marketing, meaning actually giving um, really good content and information and helpful tips and solve some problems and people are going to come to you and then they're going to buy from you. Let's see. Um, and so I want to see more of you. I want to see more of Tracy because the truth is there are a lot of doTERRA reps and but I'm going to buy from you because I like you. You know, so I want you, I want to know more about you and I want to have that relationship with you or that feeling that I have a relationship with you. So you're going to have to put yourself out there a little bit, uh, a little bit more in my opinion, at least as it relates to the online part, you know, in real life, I'm sure that's exactly how it's going down for you, but, um, you might as well bring that over here. Okay. Um, all right. So that's, that's really basically it. Um, you know, when I look at the stuff that you're sharing, it, it still, it looks, it looks more, um, impersonal, you know, I want to see more, I want to see more of you. Okay. Next, we're moving on to natural spectrum. So the natural spe spectrum is, uh, Teresa Wheeler's business and when I first looked at it I was like hmm natural spectrum okay we see these we see this these purple plants this child out in nature um, but what's interesting is that the the it's sort of a double entendre in the name because um, it's all about how she has two twin boys that was redundant she has twin boys on the spectrum and so that's why the name is natural spectrum and so she's also selling uh, essential oils and in her case these essential oils has have brought about great change um, in her kids behaviors and 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 whatever else so and easing their anxiety helping them focus and concentrate better so you know I always love a niche so she's really um, you know this is quite a niche so it's essential oils but it's focused on um, or at least her experience is from the perspective of the mother of two kids on the spectrum. Uh, so right there in the header, it's a, a very good name, except it's not obvious. So I would say something in there. I would come up with a tagline that is very specific and says exactly that, you know, so that I know if I have kids on the spectrum um, and I'm struggling, then I'm going to immediately see, oh, this is this speaks to me. This is my... This is where I need to be. This is a page for me. And then I'm going to keep reading, right? So um, let's see here. Your explainer video that we created in camp definitely needs to be here pinned to the top. Um, telling your story. And again, you don't have to be on camera. It could just be um, maybe we get a glimpse of your kids. And if you don't want to have their faces, it could be, you know, a back shot of them fishing or whatever. But giving us a sense of your story. Um, you know, the hero's journey, there's, uh, in fact, that, that, um, the software that we used spark, it actually has a template called the hero's journey. Um, and it's a fantastic, it's, it's an old, you know, it's a, it's a classic format for telling a story and that would be a great, a great thing for you to do. Um, then I don't get the beans. Um, I love that you know how to can, but this should probably be on your personal page. Um, and your photo, um, while you look beautiful, it's obvious that it's a selfie. You've got your arms stretched out. There's kind of a glare coming off the window. So, um, 
uh, if you if if right now hiring a professional photographer is not in the budget, um, maybe you could do a trade with someone for something. But I would definitely uh, get a professional photo done, maybe even a whole photo shoot, uh, because you can use it for lots of things. Even if you decide to branch out into um, in you know take this into coaching and whatever else, you'll always have those photos, and they they really um, they will take you a long way actually um okay let's see um the other thing about your niche is that it's actually very easy to find your audience um if you're looking for mothers of kids um, who are on the spectrum uh you know there is there are so many ways um to go about doing that and we do cover all that in camp, especially when we start talking about Facebook advertising. But I mean, very, very speci specifically on a, on a granular level. So I'm always envious of people um, and excited to work with people who have a niche because it just makes things so much easier and you get results so much quicker. But uh, another thing you might want to consider is creating a Facebook group. I don't say that lightly because having a Facebook group is a tremendous commitment if you want it uh, to actually go anywhere, right? It could be a full-time job, but um, you could easily create a community where um, you're simply sharing helpful information, not just about the oils, but, you know, just tips for moms of kids on the spe spectrum. And there's no shortage of great content out there to inspire you. So one thing I want to um, show you is we're going to go over to Pinterest and really this is for everybody. Um, there is something on Pinterest for everyone, okay? And we're going to go to, um, I'm going to choose autism. And I'm going to this uh, account called Autism Tank. And then I'm going to scroll down to, oh, I found a good board. Give me two seconds. Autism parent survival okay so many little golden nuggets here from wonderful um wonderful infographics uh to how to make a weighted blanket because we know that kids feel safer um and it calms them down to sort of have a weighted blanket uh, i mean just so many tips sensory processing activities it's a gold mine of information. And just because it's not yours, it doesn't mean you can't use it. I mean, all you have to do is, you know, if you find one of these um, infographics particularly helpful, then, and you share it on your Facebook page, you know, you're gonna give attribution to the person who did it. Um, and usually on this stuff, there's links associated with it or, um, or their website is on the actual graphic. So, it's supposed to be shared. That's what this is here for. Um, I'm not talking about copying the content and then pretending it's yours, but it's enough to just share it, you know, and you're curating all this great information. So if you put this kind of stuff on your Facebook page, you know, no, it's not talking about the oils, but people are going to keep coming back because it's so helpful and they're going to want to learn more about you. And this is, and mix into this into all this great content is an opportunity for you to tell your story, um, to share some tips uh, about, you know, what you do with the oils. Uh, look at this. I see oils in this picture. How to make a lap buddy to help fidgeting. So you see down there, there's oil. So this is actually probably, um, well, I'm not going to say probably, but there's some sort of fragrance, some sort of oil that they've put into this lap buddy to probably, you know, lavender oil so that it's that much more comforting. So perfect. Um, so there is oil in there, but it's not front and center. So um, let's see what other notes that I made here. Okay, yeah, I think that I think that's pretty much it. Um, also, same thing that I said to Tracy, I would definitely start doing some videos, uh, just daily videos, just the, just the smallest little tips. They don't have to be these epic, 
things, five, 10 minutes, just you doing a demo. Um, consistency is really key here because when people know they, that you're gonna be delivering that content, they start to tune in. All right. Uh, okay, I wanna go, I wanna go look uh, at camp real quick and see that I'm not, make sure I'm not missing any comments or questions before we move on. Okay, uh, so now, next in line, I wanna make sure I go in order, is I'm pretty sure it's Aisha. Okay, Aisha. No, it wasn't. It's uh, JH Style Magazine, which makes me, I've gotta pull something else so I can show you this. Okay, so um, there's this is a client of Rose's, and um, she helps them with their social media strategy for Instagram and Twitter. So there's really a lot to say here, and unfortunately, I just can't give you a full-on Twitter tutorial because we'll be here all day long, um, but... I'm going to tell you two things that I think would get you a lot of traction. And the best thing I can do is show you one of my clients who is a similar sort of magazine. Um, and it's the Scout Guide Cleveland. And they have these actually all over the country. Um, so one of the first things that we did um, was, and it looks like they got rid of, well, I'll be able to show you in a second. So um, they've got this pinned tweet. Right, and we've got a video again explaining um, explaining the Scout Guide, okay. And this is great. This one is actually from a perspective of people who advertise in this magazine, and why it's so great to advertise in the magazine, okay. So that's right up at the top. Then um, there's keywords that are really rich here. I mean, it, it, we've got Cleveland comes up is one of the first words in the bio because it's all about Cleveland. Then every single post has like a beautiful photo. But then you'll see right here, this is called a Twitter lead, lead card. And all we did was, it says, the Cleveland City Guide highlights the flavor, passion, and character of Cleveland businesses and entrepreneurs. So we could actually get the free guide by clicking download now. And then we click one more time. And now the city guide just got our email address from two clicks. We did not have to um, type in our name or our email, but they got, an, they, we just opted in. Now it says, awesome, let me know how it goes with your city guide. And we're, which is kind of bad phrasing, we gotta fix that. And then, um, so we click there now. Now it takes us to a lead page. We created this in lead pages. So it tells more about the guide both from a perspective of a reader and as an advertiser. There's all sorts of uh, testimonials here from the advertisers, and now we're gonna download it. Okay, that shouldn't be there. We gotta fix that. And so it takes us right to the guide. And this is the digital version of the magazine. It's loading, give me two seconds. And this PDF was uploaded to Amazon S3. So it's, it's, the, actual, it's the actual magazine in digital format. Um, so we can browse through the whole copy. We don't have to say um, as, is when we go to JSTYLE, it says um, we can go to your website and then it says visit our site or pick up a free copy and see how we live. You might as well put a digital copy on here as well, okay? Um, the other thing that I wanna show you is their lists, okay? They only have five lists, but I want you to look and see what they are. So 
this one says they have scout guides. So these are people they've put on the list that actually carry the scout guide in their store um, or their location. Um, this one is what I call a tap on the shoulder list. And all this is like very new for them. So it, it hasn't been completely developed, but it says feature in the scout guide. And then the description is unique Cle Cleveland business, good fit for the scout guide. So what happens is whenever they add someone to this list on Twitter, that person gets alerted. So they're going to say feature in the scout guide. Well, let me check that out. They're going to click back over and they're going to see their beautiful profile, their beautiful magazine, and they're going to want to learn more. Um, and the description tells them that they would be a good fit for this magazine. Then all important, and you definitely need to have this for this magazine, is a list of just Cleveland, and in your case, Jackson Hole, um, businesses, organizations, nonprofits, the advertisers, your local advertisers, like all things Jackson Hole need to be in that list because you use this as a tool to, um, to listen to what's happening in the community, um, and people will also subscribe to the list because it will be a piece of content in and of itself. You can also share this list. And because they're a magazine, they literally, if you look at the top, there is an actual URL for this list. So your magazine could feature the link to this list in their magazine, invite people to subscribe, um, and the, the list itself becomes a helpful piece of content. Um, let's see what else. And I want to show you that their followers, let's look at their followers. Um, twitter.com forward slash scout. All right, so they're following 958 and they have over a thousand followers. They did this in about um, a mat just a matter of a couple of weeks. They, they got to this this many followers. Um, and it's because they're using a third party software to help them do that. Um, and the, the followers that they have are a hundred percent, okay, let's say like 94 percent their ideal clients. These are all people, local local people um, who will read their magazine and, and be potential advertisers in their magazine. And this third-party application allowed them to do that. Uh, so, but it's just beautiful. I mean, and the same would be, you know, Jackson Hole, I mean, um, your, your magazine, this JH Style Magazine, now we're on their Instagram page. The pictures could not be more stunning. Like, I completely enjoyed looking at these gorgeous photos. Look at this, look at this grizzly bear and this wolf. I mean, wow, that is amazing. And it has 72 likes. It should have like a thousand seventy two likes. Uh, I mean, because it's just phenomenal. Really, the only thing that I would say that I noticed is that none of your posts actually have the, um, have a geotag on them. So every single one of your Instagram posts need to have a geotag for Jackson Hole because people are traveling and people look by those geotags to see other photos from the area. Uh, and so you, you're missing a big opportunity there. Your pictures themselves are great. Um, you've got a hashtag strategy. I want to make sure that these are being put in the comments. It looks like they are. Um, and... I'm just double checking your hashtags. Yeah, all that looks all that looks really good. So, um, you know, there's so much to cover, but that's just some stuff. That's a lot of stuff I gave you just to start with. Okay, so let me close that down. Let's close this down and this down, and let's go over to Aisha. Okay. Um, all 
Okay. So, and also, I, I just, I don't, I may have missed the point, but I want to say with regard to the JH magazine that it is the whole point of the download thing is you, we want to get, you know, whether it's a download of the magazine or, you know, the top 10 things that, you know, anybody needs to do when they're in Jackson Hole, whatever it is, that's a freebie. You know, you can have five different freebies, but you need to be, there need to be freebies and ways for people to opt in uh, to the mailing list. Um, and so that was the whole point behind the Twitter lead card and the download. Okay. Um, and my phone number is 662-549-1760. 662-549-1760. And that is if anybody wants to ask me a question while I'm talking, texting me is going to be the best way right now. Okay. Um, so if you need to ask me a question while I'm talking, then uh, that's the way to do it, okay? Uh, Aisha. All right, your header needs work. So working from home can truly ha happen. Ask me how. That's all fine. But, and I love your profile picture with those dimples. Um, but we, do we need three pictures, three poses, three headshots? No, we do not. Because they, other than just showing us that you're really cute, they don't. They don't, they don't tell me that you're um, an expert. They don't tell me exactly what you do. They're not telling me how you can help me. Um, and your, your website is not about modeling. Uh, it's not about um, any of that. So, so it needs to change. So what I would do is a couple of things. I would use that space for testimonials. Um, I would say... Uh, spell out in just in text so you have the pretty picture of yourself which needs to be cropped by the way like the one in the in the actual profile picture box is sort of like off-center it needs to be just full-on no border no nothing and it's kind of dark too like I can't see your eyes uh, completely like you're in the shadow um, so so yeah I would make the banner a little cleaner, um, just simple, and have it say exactly what it is that you do um, and what you can do for me. And when I click on it, nothing. So you're also missing an opportunity here to really explain uh, what you do. You could put in a bunch of links, all sorts of stuff. Um, I don't see that you're offering a freebie, so you want to do that. Um, you want to have some sort of freebie. Your explainer video should be pinned to the top um, that we created in camp. If you don't know what I'm talking about, scroll down and you'll see it. It started off as a contest. Contest is over, but it'll only take you five or ten minutes to uh, create that. Um, now, I was really impressed here. So, we talked about how timeline and about have to be, you know, those are there. We can't do anything about it. But then we have an opportunity to choose what we want these next two tabs to be. And you've got one that says, I will never be broke another day in my life. Well, that is very provocative and compelling. So I definitely want to click on that. But when I do, oh, no, 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 sorry. I was thinking about somebody else's. So yeah, so this is very cool. And you've got this integrated with, um, with 22 Social, which is a plugin. And it takes us to a webinar that is all about wraps. So you are a um, network marketer and you uh, are a rep for this wrap company. Okay, so things are starting to come together. Photos, we, you know, I don't think this is what you want uh, to put here. What I think you should have here is videos because when I go over here to your videos, I see that you've got a bunch of videos and you know you did this one recently and I want to talk about it and I don't know if 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 it's competing I've got my computer muted so I don't know if you can hear um, but from my computer I can see over your shoulder and your living room looks a little bit like mine because you have kids like me and so there's a little bit of clutter back there. Um, and so, you know, there's a reason why I sit in front of a background every time I go on camera. Um, because no matter what kind of chaos is going on in my life, 
I can just block it out with just a decent, you know, some sort of background. So I would suggest that, um, that when you do your videos, find a place. You can even, you know, I've got one client who bought a beautiful shower curtain and a shower curtain rod. And, uh, and she does all of her broadcasts in front of, of that shower curtain. It doesn't have to be complicated, uh, but I do think you need to uh, portray um, a, a certain image because your message is that, look, um, I've made it because, you know, or I'm, I'm able to work from home and make my dreams come true because um, I'm part of this company and you can too. So we want to, um, your audience wants to aspire uh, to be like you. And, but your, your camera presence is great. Like you have um, a very likable demeanor and you're very, um, you're very sweet and you come across as very down to earth and trustworthy. So I would continue doing these videos um, because I think, I think that's smart. Now, when I look at what you're posting online, um, it's, it's not getting it because it's very selly. Okay. So you're asking people, um, I need product testers at my cost for a 90 day challenge. So you got three views on this, um, because it looks like an ad, you know, and, and what I want everybody to keep in mind is that, um, you know, there are no shortages of people selling these products and um, looking for reps for their MLM. But the way the most successful people who are doing this are coming at it um, with themselves as the, as the, um, you know, as you are the brand. This rap is not the brand. You are the brand. And so, you know, the, I'm going to want to buy this stuff from you because I fall in love with you, um, not the other way around. So, you know, so I think you, you're definitely, you've got some systems in place, and um, so you're definitely on the right track. But I would really focus in your blog. When I clicked here, there was nothing on your blog. It's empty, so that needs to come down until you put some stuff on your blog. So I would go through all your tabs, make sure they're working, um, because having pers having someone just click on one thing and having it be empty could send them away forever. You could really lose a good, um, you know, you could lose a valuable lead uh, just because of that. Um, okay, I was just reading some more notes. I can't read my own writing. Uh, so you have two messages that you are two, not two different audiences, but, um, sort of two different messages going all the time. One is, um, so, so you need to get new reps and then you also are selling product. So there's two messages. It's like this product is great and testimonials about the product, but then it's also being a rep for this product is great because it brings you freedom and income and all this sort of stuff. So I think doing daily Facebook Lives um, with several different kinds of content, like I think you need to do just tips because you're telling me your name is Busy Mommy Biz. So this is for mommies, mo you know, people who have kids who want to be home with their kids. So more of your content needs to be focused on that. So we could see um, a glimpse into your life every day of how you're doing that, okay? Um, you know, that we're, like, you could be folding laundry and doing a video while you're folding laundry and telling us how you're making money while you're folding laundry, you know, and how... It's the best thing that's ever happened to you. Um, but not about the product at all. Like, just in general. Just how great it is. Um, and doing this every day is going to build up a whole library of content. And people are just going to be curious. They're going to want to know. Like, well, how is she making money while she's folding laundry? You don't have to be um, so in their face. But you do need to give constant value, I guess. All right. Um, so good job. Just keep up the work. Let me know when you make those changes. I'll be happy to take another peek. I'm going to double check and see if we've got anybody. Um, hey, Shannon. If you're still here. 
All right, thanks, Kat. All right, so now um, I didn't really get to dive dive in as much. So some of what we're going to do here is going to be like ad lib because uh, I, I got to tell you, Kim, when I got over to your website, it's a absolute gold mine of content. Okay. So there's so much to, um, there's really so much to talk about, but I, I think that the, that the cornerstone of your success in online marketing and growing your online business is based around your incredible amount of knowledge and content, okay? So there, there's 23 pages, let's see, more than 23 pages of content of your blog post. And each and every blog post, you put a lot of thought and, and, and time into, and it's, really like for people who want to know how to train their horses. Um, I mean, I just, this is absolutely fantastic. Okay. So I almost jumped out of my seat because when I see this, it's, you know, you really, um, you know, from here, it's all about, uh, piecing things together, connecting things together in the best way so that you can grow your list and then begin communicating optimally with your list, nurturing that list, creating your course, selling your course, whatever, however you want to package your knowledge. Um, but you, you, it's, it's, you're golden in terms of your content. Okay. So, um, so I want to talk about, and I had video, I had bookmarked this, uh, video. Okay. Look at this. Taking care of your horse. Winter tips. Uh, this is, um, this is just so great. Now, the, the first thing that I would do is that the strategy looks like this. You create your blog post and for every blog post, there should be a freebie. So let's click continue reading. So this is all about understanding your horse before you start their training. All right. A blog post like this could would lend itself really well to a checklist that shouldn't take you a lot of time again you've already created all this content so going back and creating some freebies for some from for some of your more popular blog blog posts um really shouldn't take too much time and the more that you create the more um the more the, the better at it that you will be but every single one of these blog posts needs to have an opportunity for me to download something that I can print. People love that. And then that gives, and then you're going to have me opt into your list. So uh, I don't want to get like too far um, off topic and get too much into the weeds. But uh, I'm trying to think how I can... Um, how I can best show you what I think is going to be best for you. All right. So, um, I think what I'll do is I'll show you my sad little blog that has a, a like a, just a fraction, a minuscule fraction of the content that your blog has. Okay. So here, all right, so here's a blog post, which is really just a video. And then it says, download the guide here. Now, what I have done with every single one of my blog posts is using Meet Edgar, which many of you have heard me talk about before. I'm not an affiliate or anything. I wish I was. I want to find a new system <laughs> that I don't have to promote for free all the time. But, uh, but it's just the best. So that's the reason that I recommend it. It really is the best. So, um, Edgar has all these categories, okay? And in these categories, I've got one for my blog posts. And there's 33 blog posts in there. So, as soon as I create a blog post, it goes into that category. In fact, let me go to library. And then you'll see in the top right-hand corner, add new content. 
and then I'll choose the category. In this case, it would be blog post, and it would be how to blah, blah, blah. And then I would choose an image, a nice image, usually whatever the image is on that blog post, and, um, and then save it to the library. Oh, and then on the left, choose the channels that I want it to go, keeping in mind that each of these channels, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, they each have their own specific schedule. So Facebook only gets two posts a day. Um, LinkedIn only gets up to two posts a day. Twitter gets zillions of posts every day. So so Meet Edgar already knows that. Then I've, I've set a schedule. I only have... I only have done this one time, so it takes time in the front end, but you never have to do this again. And I have plugged in different categories at different times, okay? So here's blog post, blog post, blog post, blog post. Now, that one blog post that used to only get, you know, I'd post it on my blog, I'd tweet it, a couple times I put it on Facebook and then that's it right that's it now all that content Kim that you've created you stick it in here you have it tweeting around the clock um, because it's okay to do that and you use strategic hashtags they're gonna find your horse people they're gonna click on it and you are gonna freak out when you see how fast your email list grows and how many people are gonna come to your blog just by doing this Okay, so that's sort of like on the top of my like to-do list if I were you. Um, I'm going to see if I have any text messages from anybody. Nope. Okay, now let's go back over here and, uh, and I'm going to slow my jets, cool my jets here for a second. Uh, good job that your homepage is named Passionate Horsemanship. Uh, you know, I think I'm not, I don't see any freebies. Let's look at lessons. All right. So nothing digital yet. It doesn't look like you have anything digital yet. This might be local. Um, services, clinics, and workshops. Wow. So you have these clinics and people come and they can pay $15 a person in person to do this. So all of this stuff, I know you know this, but all of this can be turned into digital and you can make some serious, um, some serious money here, Kim. And then meet Kim. I love it testimonials great now all these testimonials um, can be used in lots of places you can make an explainer video that is just your testimonials um, let's look at holistic horse care so you've got some products that you offer all right good okay you know your blog, I mean, just aesthetically speaking, you know, being completely honest, if I'm going to be completely helpful, I mean, I think it could look better. It could be a little more modern looking, you know, the, the font across the top is kind of tiny, but that, but I wouldn't make that my first, I wouldn't make my, that my first thing that I do. My first thing that I would do, you've got fantastic content and I would start working on getting that into a scheduler, creating freebies. Oh, and the way that my freebies are set up is I use lead pages for that and they have a thing called lead boxes that allows me to put those on each of my on my blog posts. So that, all of that's in camp and I think you signed up for camp. So all that is in camp step by step um, and on how to set all that stuff up. But it's doable. It's really not. It's really not complicated. Um, and you probably already know how to do that anyway. Um it's really just a matter of doing it. The next thing I want to talk about is the title of your blog post. I don't know if you've heard about the, um, now I can't remember his name, 
the sales lion. Let me uh, let me Google that. It's an incredible story of a guy with a pool company, Marcus Sheridan. So he had a pool company, and the pool company. It was like the middle of like 2008 and nobody was buying pools because the economy was going in the toilet. And so he decided he was going to really get proactive with his marketing and he started to learn everything there was about blogging and stuff like that. He didn't know anything about it at all. And um, he found out that the number one question people asked online with regard to pools was, how much does a pool cost? And so... He created a blog post, how, how, uh, how much you should expect a pool to cost. And that one blog post, because that's what people would search for on Google, um, brought him um, thousands and thousands of, of views. And that, you know, it's the ultimate in content marketing. So he started creating these blog posts around the kind of questions that his customers would ask. So... When I went to your blog, um, I went over to YouTube and I typed in, I had all this saved, so I got to try to remember, um, how to buy a horse, I think. And I found this woman, Becky's Homestead, which I'm guessing you already know who she is. She looks kind of popular. And she's got 124,000 YouTube subscribers. And this one video has 42,600 views. So I would start subscribing to your peers' channels and start watching what they're doing, okay? So let's look at some of Becky's, um, let's look at some of her videos and some of the titles of her videos. So, uh, so her thing is not just horsing, horses, it's homesteading. So we've got to search through a lot of this. Okay, actually, there's not a lot of horse stuff at all. But she has a pretty cool, pretty cool stuff here. But, you know, people, but in every single one of these, Becky is front and center. The sooner you get in front of that camera and start being yourself, we want to see you with the horses. So I saw that you had done a few, um, I saw that you had done a few videos on your Facebook page and we want to see those horses okay so I see your horses and that was cute and it was really it was short and sweet um, and here we've got clicker training I trained my dog with clicker training okay so we I would love to see this in action uh, so I really recommend that the, that in addition to connecting a freebie to every single one of your blog posts, I think you need to start doing videos that accompany every single one of you. Not every single one, because that's daunting, right? Pick your most popular blog posts. Oh, look, we get to see you here. Donkey jumping. Miniature donkey. This was over a year ago you filmed this one. All right, this is more of a slideshow. Okay, so, well, there's some real video right there. Okay, this is super, super duper interesting, and this is what your audience wants to see. Um, and I see you here talking. Okay, don't like, I do not like that background. You know, I just got through telling Aisha she needed to put up some sort of like shower curtain, but this is not a good background, is not flattering light. You are passionate horsewoman, and that's our image, of, our image of you in our mind is, um, is a horsewoman, okay? And so cowgirl, whatever, I mean, not that you have to put on any kind of costume, but I really think we want to see you in your element. Um, so, so that video that you have here of the horses, you need to be in that video. And I understand it's hard to film and be in the video at the same time, but that's just as easy as getting a tripod. Um, and you need to get one of those tripods that have the bendy legs and you could literally just bend it onto that fence 
and get in front of the camera and say the same thing you just said in this video, but let us see your face. Let us get to know you because when you combine all that knowledge um, that you have in your blog with um, with your, you know, into a live video and letting us get to know you, um, it's going to be very, very powerful. All right, let me go back to, let's go back to just some fundamentals on your um, Facebook page. So I really like your profile picture, but you don't look like that anymore because you, I don't recognize you because you had long hair. So you might want to update that. Um, when I click on your, when I click on your header, at least you have a link to your blog, but I would like to see a lot more than that. I would like to see, um, let's look at free report. Okay, this is great. All right, so let's, if you have a free report, let's promote that free report. And that goes into your Edgar as well, okay? So you create a Twitter uh, lead card. You could put the lead card into Edgar, um, and you could be generating, um, okay, I'm clicking yes, I want to know. Well, don't proceed. I guess I already subscribed to your list. Um, so yeah, so you've got a freebie. You've already done this report. This needs to be, um, I would put that in your, banner, like click here for how you, your free report, seven bad habits you're teaching your horse and how to cor correct them. And I would get rid of the photos tab and for right now, maybe put your blog there because your blog is so good. And you want people to be able to call you, so that's fine. Um, I think if you start to develop online courses, uh, you might want to change this button to something else. Go back to your timeline. The stuff you share is great. Um, so I can't, the stuff you, the stuff you're sharing is great. So on the content end, you are, you are golden. Um, but I think targeting, you know, just like I was saying with, um, um, oh, natural spectrum, you have a real niche. And so finding your people and finding your, um, finding your people online is going to be really easy, especially when it comes to Facebook advertising. So that's, that's super exciting. And on Twitter for that matter, and on Instagram, pretty much everywhere. Um, because you've got this great niche, I think that, um, you know, that part is going to be really easy for you. And uh, that, I'm going to go back to the camera, see if we have any questions. I really kind of blathered on today, um, but hopefully um, I was helpful. And I'm going to see if, um, if we've got any comments. I'm going to make the rounds. Okay, so so Kim had some questions. Um, is there a plugin that can be used to place the opt-in for the freebie at the bottom of each post? Um, okay, yeah, I use lead pages, but Kat says there's lots of different ones. Uh, my freebie is on the home page on the right hand side. That's so encouraging to hear that I can make some serious money. You really can. Um, I've got three freebies, but only showing on the home page. Um, See you later, Kat. Uh, Kim says, that's what I want to do is turn my blog into a vlog. It's much easier for me to do videos than it is to write. It is so much easier. Um, Kim, you um, you really are going to see results really quickly. If you, um, I think you definitely need to get Meet Edgar. I didn't even go into everything that that, that can do for you, but it's, liberating and you have all this content to plug in into there so for example all the tips for example you would go into um let's say um 
I'm totally spacing out Canva or something like Canva and go in and take all your best horse tips, use your brand color, your purple and create, you know, all these purple rectangles. You can just duplicate them after you put your logo, your website, and then hashtag um, passionate horse. I've already forgotten passionate horse people, horsemen. Pat, okay, <laughs> hashtag whatever you're going to use, um, or even Kim's tips or whatever. And then just one sentence of, of 25, 30 different tips on each card. You take those cards, you plug them into Twitter, I mean into Edgar, under the category tips. Then you do the same thing with regard to quotes. Um, maybe you use a different style, different color. Then you have your blog post in another category. Then you have um, Q&A, so where maybe you put a question someone has asked you with an answer below it, and you put that in there. And those are going around the clock on Twitter and social media, always driving people back to your website, to your blog, to your opt-in, to your freebie. Your freebies, those three freebies that you have, each of those is going to go into its own category in Edgar after you create a lead card for them in Twitter. And again, it's going around the clock. People are clicking on that baby to get your freebie and opting into your list around the clock while you sleep. So your email list is going to grow really rapidly. Meanwhile, um, you're going to get feedback on the stuff that really resonates, which is really going to help you create like a beta course, um, a, an online course um, to maybe beta test and see, you know, and to launch it. I mean, it's you're, you're in good shape. Okay. Um, anybody, let's see, I don't, anybody have any, uh, questions, comments? All right. Well, um, I have to get to work. I have a ton of stuff to do with this launch. Um, things are going really well. I am blown away by, um, the response from our new campers. We have, um, a really incredible group of campers. The carts are going to close for summer camp on the 10th of June. I will not, I cannot make exceptions once the doors close because everything is like on timers and automation and all that. So just to be able to reopen the cart and the payments and the drip cycles and all that kind of stuff, it is super hard to do. So please um, don't wait until, the, you know, 11.59 p.m. to to get in on camp. Um, and if you have any questions, if you're on the fence, if you're not sure if it's for you, I've had several people say, can I just buy this part and this part? You can't because it's it all goes together. And the thing is, well, we all have to keep in mind, uh, me too, who is like a self-professed know-it-all, is that we don't know what we don't know. And so you may think you just need to know this part and this part of what's being offered in camp, but what you will learn is that even though you don't have to know all the channels, um, the most important part is, um, well, first of all, you're going to see that you might need to be on more channels than you think that you need to be on, or at the very least have certain spaces optimized and working for you, even if you don't hang out over there. And the other thing is the connectivity in between the systems is creating a system, um, and having things integrate. So that's a big part of what we cover. Um, and I've got free webinars happening all the time. The replay for the Facebook Marketing 101, we went well beyond 101, a ton of content in there. That is available um, in this group. I posted the link and I've got it everywhere. If you registered for the webinar, you got it in your inbox, but it's going to be expiring in like about 30 more hours. And what I do with my webinars, especially the ones that are so, um, so content, um, focused and like really chock full of information, um, then what I'll do is that everybody has an opportunity to watch them for about 48 hours. Then I move them over to Vimeo Pro. So if you're already a Vimeo Pro member, this is something to keep in mind as well. Um, and Kim, this is something that you could do with your video lessons um, as well, is you have Vimeo Pro and you can upload your, um, your webinars, your content, and make them available for rent or purchase. You can just set it up however you want. So um, I've got, I used to just do it for sale. So like I would finish a webinar and I'd go over there and I'd put it on there for $19.99 and people could download it, 
do whatever they want with it. Now, I make a purchase option available for some of the stuff that I have, um, but I also make a rent option. So they can rent it for like $9.99 and they have access to it for, I don't know, like a week or something like that. Um, and that's good for them and it's good for you because if you're renting something, it makes you, it forces you to watch it and act on it. If you buy it, you could download it and then you don't ever really take action. It's not a huge revenue stream for me. It's not like I'm getting rich off of that. But what it, what's great about it is it offsets some of those monthly costs that really add up when you're trying to market your business, right? Like the lead pages and the CRM and the, you know, all the stuff that we have to purchase. You know, it's not, it's not inexpensive. We could try to bootstrap and do everything for free, but eventually if you're going to do anything, if you're really going to take your business to the next level, you got to pay to play. And unfortunately, there's just no way around that. Trust me, because I bootstrapped and did every free version of everything for as long as I could. But then I realized, if, you know, if I wanted to grow, uh, then that's, then I'd have to um, invest. And, you know, I'm not sorry for it, but I like, I do like having, you know, and same for affiliate links. If you sign up for lead pages or really any, anything you sign up for, any tool, first thing you want to do um, is check to see if they offer you an affiliate link. Because a lot of these programs, Edgar is like the only one, but they all have some sort of affiliate link. You don't have to do anything with it necessarily, but if somebody asks you about what you're using and you want to help them out or you want to you want to recommend a, pro a product, then you, it's totally fine to say, um, yeah, I use lead pages. And by the way, here's my affiliate link. Um, people are usually more than happy to use it because they just appreciate you introducing them to that. Um, and there's not a single product that I use as an affiliate that I wouldn't use even without the affiliate link, like Edgar, right? Like I talk about it all the damn time, don't get a single cent for it, but it's fine because it's just the best product there is. So even if Social Oomph or some of the others are going to give me a kickback, I'm only going to recommend the one that, that's going to work because otherwise it would reflect poorly on me. Okay. Um, so I don't see, let's see, uh, I do have Vimeo, but not the pro version. We'll have to check into getting it. I have a horse agility course and the videos are on Vimeo. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, I, it, the pro is expensive. I mean, it's like 400 and something dollars a year. So maybe you want to wait until you, um, until you, you know, you've got a system and you're ready to put stuff on there. Um, and and actually have it sell, you know, so you want to maybe build your audience more. I mean, you probably have a huge audience, but I can, I'm telling you, like, based on what I see, I, you could quadruple your audience pretty quickly because you just got such good stuff. Um, okay, guys, so this is um, going to wrap up this very long audit today, but I wanted to get through as many as I could because I know they're, they're piling up, um, and I don't, I don't want you guys have to wait much longer, and the our, this group will be closing on June the 10th, so um, I want to try and get all those audits in before, before that happens. So have a great day, and um, I'll see you soon.